Today, we will talk about land trusts. A land trust is a legal entity that takes ownership or authority over a piece of property at the request of the property owner. Land trusts are living trusts that allow for the management of property while the owner is alive. However, like other types of trusts, each land trust's terms are unique and can be tailored to individual needs. Land trusts can include real estate or property notes and mortgages, and are typically used for land involved in conservation or real estate development purposes. There are three key parts to a land trust, the grantor, trustee, and beneficiary. Grantors handle the transferring of assets into the trust and set the terms of the trust, while trustees handle the intimate details of the property management. There are two key types of land trusts, title holding and conservation land trusts. Title holding trusts allow individuals or entities to hold land anonymously, while conservation land trusts require that the property owner give up some rights over land use and development. An example of a title holding land trust is the Walt Disney Company's resort in Florida, which was initially purchased in 1965 using a title holding land trust. Meanwhile, the Ozark Land Trust is an example of a conservation land trust that helps landowners preserve land in the Ozark area. The key advantage of land trusts is that they provide liability and privacy protections, allowing real estate investors to keep property separate from personal finances. However, there are downsides to land trusts, including the loss of redemption rights if the property is purchased under a land trust, as well as the risk of being disqualified from secondary market loans. One important distinction between title holding and conservation land trusts is that a donation to the latter could earn a big tax break. Additionally, using a multi-member partnership, investment companies allow multiple accredited investors to pool their money to purchase land for conservation. Investment companies allow multiple accredited investors to pool their money to purchase land for conservation, and after donating the property development rights to a land trust via a conservation easement, the members of the partnership split the tax deduction pro rata. There have been some high-profile cases of people taking very large deductions for donating easements on properties that don't have much ecological or cultural value. However, it is clear that conservation easement donation laws require a closer look to ensure that the risk of abuse is minimized without removing the incentive to conserve. Land trusts work like other trusts, allowing grantors to set unique terms and conditions that fit their needs. Land trusts have three key parts, the grantor, trustee, and beneficiary. Land trusts are meant to create liability and privacy protections for landowners. Real estate investors, individuals, and entities use land trusts to help create separation for personal finances and property. The land is generally purchased by an individual or business that will then transfer the property into a land trust. The grantor of the land trust is the individual or entity that creates the trust and transfers the property. Land trusts generally last for a set period of time, such as 20 years. It's up to the beneficiary to extend the trust term when it expires. If they do not, the property is sold. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Land trusts are organizations that take legal ownership, stewardship, or partial control over property at the request of the landowner. 2. Title-holding land trusts also known as Illinois Land Trusts, protect landowner anonymity and keep property out of probate. 3. However, liability and privacy protections aren't always guaranteed, and there's a risk of losing redemption rights and being disqualified from secondary market loans. 4. Land trusts are commonly used by real estate investors and estate planning property owners. 5. Another form of land trust is a conservation land trust, used for managing undeveloped land to maintain natural resources, historical sites, and public recreational areas. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.